Hey guys, thank you very much for sending us tons of questions and suggestions in response to our video. We have received approximately 30 questions and approximately 30 suggestions or requests for other videos. Uh, but unfortunately, we will not be able to answer them all or to show them all. So we have tried to pick the most uh, relevant or interesting ones. And about the video suggestions, well, maybe you'll see your in the future. So here we go. Victor is asking, I am about 170 centimeters in height and I am wondering if I will be able to fit in an aircraft cockpit. Yes, Victor, you will be able to fit in an aircraft cockpit no matter if it's a Learjet, a Cetacean or a 747. And actually some people quote this height as an ideal for a pilot. Well, I'm 193 and look at me in a 737. Armando is asking, what runway length is required for a Boeing 747 to land on? And can it land on an aircraft carrier? Interesting part. Well, a Boeing 747-400 at 285.8 tons of maximum landing weight requires approximately 2,100 meters to land on. That is, if the runway is dry, if there is no slope, it's at sea level and the conditions are normal and uh, the aircraft requires as little as one and a half kilometers to land on if it's at 200 tons that is close to its uh, basic empty weight of approximately 185 tons and about the aircraft carrier part well the answer is nope it cannot land on an aircraft carrier and that is because of multiple reasons first of all the runway length of an aircraft carrier at approximately 150 meters is at least 10 times too short for a 747. Then the airplane's wings are far too wide to fit on the carrier deck. And the arresting wires on an aircraft carrier deck would be far too weak to be able to stop a 747, which would be at least 10 times as heavy as a normal airplane landing on a carrier. Another question from Mr. Armando is, do we have any girls studying in BA? And the answer is, of course, yes, we have three girls studying at BA. One of them is currently doing her ATPL theory, she already has a PPL, and the other two have started uh, last year on their PPL studies. Below our YouTube invitation to send the questions, GGS Top has sent another one. Why isn't Natalia in this video? And let me assure you, she was there. In fact, she is always with us. She's even here. Kelvin has sent us a question. If I live in Australia, is it possible for me to attend Baltic Aviation Academy? The answer is yes. People from all over the world can study in BA. But if you are not from the Schengen zone, you would need to arrange a few minor things. So first of all, you would need to get a temporary visa for your medical check, selection and interview and if all goes well after you sign the contract with us you will get a visa for the whole duration of your course a question from Jacob I wonder what grades should I have when going into Baltic AA for studies now the subjects which interest us the most. Are English, Maths and Physics. And we are looking for 70% performance in either your graduation exams or your year averages. And on top of that we also have an 
additional test in English. But please understand that the grades are not the most important things in the selection procedure. We also conduct numerous tests checking for your personal traits and values, for your skills and etc. before making the final decision whether you can become a successful commercial pilot with us. So thank you very much for watching the part one of our question and answer videos and stay tuned for the part two. Maybe your question will be picked next. Bye.